Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, what a month. I got paid twice from one company in dividends this month alone. I bought some Gap because Kanye said he was gonna design some clothes for Gap. Kanye said he was gonna run for president. I sold that Gap. Tesla is doing amazing things. They shot through the roof. AMD is just straight up killing it right now. And the best part about this month is that I made the most ever from dividends in this month here alone. In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how much I got paid from each company this month and the total amount I got paid in dividends. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Hey, welcome back YouTube. I got paid a total of 10 times from nine different companies. That means one company paid me twice in dividends this month alone. I'm gonna show you guys which company paid me twice. But before I get into it, look at my portfolio this month compared to last month. I think last month I was around $18,000. This month, my portfolio is around $22,000. I'm a couple of bucks away from reaching $22,000 portfolio. On the day, I am up over $300. I was $65 during the day. I think Google or Amazon had their earnings call and then it went up $297 after hours. On the week, I am up $1,338.76, up 6.5%. And from this month, I told you guys it was a crazy month. This month alone, I'm up 15.49%, up $2,938.36. So this one month alone has grown my portfolio 15.49%. Four and nine percent. What a that that is an amazing feeling to grow this portfolio almost three thousand dollars in one month from profit alone. Yes, I do invest two hundred dollars every single week, but that that's eight hundred dollars is not two thousand nine hundred and thirty six dollars. So I'm a very appreciative of um, you guys sticking tuned to follow me on this journey of growing my dividend portfolio. If you guys want to stick around to this journey, make sure you scroll down and hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and get into these dividends right quick. All right, here we go. I have my dividends put up. So to get the elephant out the room, I'm going to go over the, the, the stock that paid me twice in one month. And that stock is SPHD. They paid me on the 1st of July 1st, 2020. I had a total of 29 shares and they paid me 15 cents per share at $4.43 total. They paid me on the 1st. If we take a look at SPHD, now I own 30 shares of SPHD. Uh, my market value of SPHD is $1,014 and I am uh, down on the total returns, but I am getting paid out monthly in SPHD. So let's take a look at the second time they paid me this month. That was from owning 29 shares. If we scroll up to the top on July 31st, I'm gonna get another payment of $4.50. I reinvested that money I got from last month and now I have 30 shares of uh, SPHD and now I'm getting paid even more. So I got paid 450 from the um, on the 31st of July, uh, paying out 14.9 cents per share from SPHD. So that is the company that paid me twice in one month for a total of $8.93. After SPHD is Coca-Cola. Yes, the beverage company. I love Coke. I own a total of six shares from Coca-Cola. They pay out 41 cents per share quarterly, and I got paid out $2.46 from Coca-Cola, tickle symbol KO. If we take a look at Coca-Cola, I own a market value of $286.14 with a total return of minus $32.50. So yes, I am down on Coke. I do expect them to recover, so I'm gonna hold on to them in my portfolio. So with Coke paying out $246, that brings my total to $11.39 this month. The next company that paid me is VOO. They paid me out a total of $1.45. I own a total of one share of VOO. It's a Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. If we take a look, I am up $31.74 from VOO, up 11% since I've been holding it. If we take a look at the last five years, the Vanguard, VOO, S&P 500. If you guys just invest into this one stock alone and just hold this for the rest of your life, you're gonna make money from holding on to VOO. This is a great ETF. And as you guys can see, this is a very strong ETF 
for the S&P 500 tickle symbol VOO. And that's gonna bring my total this month to $12.84, getting paid out $1.45 from VOO. And the next one is AGNC, the most controversial stock in my portfolio. AGNC paid me out a total of $10.56 at the time I own 89 shares paying out 12 cents per share from AGNC. If we take a look at AGNC, the reason a lot of people don't like it is because of their dividend yield. The dividend yield is high at 13.26% dividend yield. Now I own a total of 93 shares. This is a monthly paying dividend stock. That means next month I'm gonna be making even more from dividends from AGNC. Right now I'm down 4.45%. But we take a look at AGNC, they just had their earnings report and they beat their earnings report. Their expected earnings was around 46 cents per share and their actual earning was 58 cents per share. So they beat their earnings. That's a good thing from AGNC. So I should be bouncing back into the positives from AGNC with a high dividend yield of 13.26%, paying me out a total of $10.56 this month. And that's gonna bring my total to $23.40 from this month alone. I love AGNC. The next one is tickle symbol O, really the income. Uh, this is a very solid real estate REIT, tickle symbol O, really the income. I own a total of six shares of tickle symbol O, paying me out 23 cents per share for a total of $1.41. If we take a look at O over the last year, they're down, of course, because of the, you know, and um, they still got a long way to go to recover, but right now I'm down $23.03, so I should, continue to collect these dividends to help me catch up and get back in a positive with O. Right now, I do own seven shares of Tickle Symbol O, uh, Realty Income, so I should get paid more next month from Realty Income. So with $1.41 added, that brings my total to $24.81 this month. The next one is IIPR. Not gonna talk about this one much because the last time I talked about this, I got from YouTube. So I own one share, pays out a dollar and six cents per share. If we look at it, it's doing amazing. I'm up 42% from this one stock alone. It's killing it. I bought it at $73 and it's up to $105.32. This is one of the only ones in this sector that do pay dividends, have a dividend yield of 3.88%. Um, and I'm up $31.54 from this company alone. I should have grabbed some more when I could, but I'm gonna hold on to this one for a very long time. I see it doing well, it has a very long uptrend as long as some laws get passed in the United States. I see this company with a big growth potential in the future. If you wanna know more about this company, you look it up yourself. I'm not gonna talk about it. I need this uh, YouTube money. <laughs> so I got paid a dollar and six cents. That bring my total to $25.84 from the month of July alone. The next one is CTRE, uh, Care Trash REIT. I had a total of three shares, paying out 25 cents per share for, I got paid 75 cents this month alone. If we take a look at it, I'm not sure why I really had this in my portfolio, but I did end up selling it. So I don't have this in my portfolio anymore it had a dividend yield of 5.46 percent it wasn't doing bad but I, I just decided to get rid of it because i seen better buying opportunities in different stocks in my portfolio so i got rid of ctre so that might have been my last dividend payment i'll ever receive from them unless i decide to buy back in in the future but with all that being said, I got paid a total of 75 cents from CTRE, bringing my total to 26.62 that I got paid in dividends from the month of July. The next one is ticker symbol PSEC, Prospect Capital. I got paid a total of 18 cents from holding three shares, paying out six cents per share. If we take a look, they have a pretty high dividend yield at 14.15% dividend yield. I am up on this company 38%. I bought in at $3.65 and it's sitting at $5.05. So I should have should have bought a lot more with that kind of dividend yield. I could be making a killing right now. Yeah, but with all that being said, I got paid a total of 18 cents 
from Prospect Capital this month, bringing my total to $26.80. And the last one I'm gonna get paid on July 31st is even more controversial than AGNC, which is NRZ, New Residential Investment. They has a high, they have a higher dividend yield than um, AGNC, but I own a total at the time I own a total of 157 shares, paying out 10 cents per, sh per share. At the time I owned a total of 157 shares, paying out 10 cents per share. So I got paid $15.70. From NRZ, if we take a look at NRZ, now I own a total of 168 shares of NRZ, but I am down 33%. I had a whole bunch of money invested into this, and the reason that I'm down is because they actually cut their dividend right when the pandemic started, but now they raised that dividend back up to where it was. So I hopefully they recover. If not, I'll end up taking my losses using that $1,362 and buy something else with that money. But I am getting paid a lot of money in dividends from NRZ. On, Rob on Robinhood, they have a dividend yield of 19%, but that's not right. It's more around 14.75%. That's their dividend yield. I guess Robinhood have not updated their um, systems yet on NRZ, but yeah, I did get paid $15 from NRZ this month. $15.70 this month, bringing my total to $42.50. $42.50. Yes, I got paid $42.50 this month. This is my largest month ever in dividend investing. So I'm excited to take this $42, reinvest it back into um, my Robinhood account. If you guys watched my last video about um, reinvesting your dividends to grow your account to a million dollar account, go watch that video. It is so I'm going to follow that plan and invest that back into my Robinhood account to hopefully grow my account into a seven figure portfolio. So yeah, guys, that was my full dividend payout this month from my Robinhood account. 10 different payments, nine different got paid twice from SPHD. The platform that I use was Robinhood. I'm going to leave that link down in the description. If you want to sign up, you'll get a free stock just for signing up. And I'm also gonna leave a link down to Webull. If you sign up for Webull and deposit $100, you'll get two free stocks value up to $1,400. And then you can just pull out your $100 if you don't wanna invest it. So free money, guys, free money. But other than that, I wanna thank you guys for all of your support. If you can, leave a thumbs up. That helps this channel out more than you even know. It really do. And if you wanna keep up to date on my dividend growth on my portfolio, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.